welcome back guys and in today's session we are going to learn about data types data types are something which you find generally common in all the programming languages although mysql is not really a programming language it's a structured query language however data types are important nonetheless so let's get started i have created a presentation which can help you understand data types a little bit better all right so mysql data types are basically of four types numeric types, date and time types, string types, and JSON types. In today's session, we will try to cover numeric types. All right, numeric types. Numeric types are further divided into five categories. Integer types, exact value. Fixed point types, exact value. Floating point types, which are approximated value. Bit value type, and numeric type attributes. Numeric type attributes are not really a data type. It's, it is just like an extension to data types that helps us enhance the features provided by exist, existing data types. All right. So here is the integer exact value data types chart. So there are basically five types of integer data types. I'm sure you have seen me using integer quite a while. And there are these other types available to us as well tiny int, small int, medium int, int int, big int. Their names somehow already uh, tell what these data types are about. Tiny int is the smallest integer data type available, which is storage is just one byte. Greater than one is a small int, which is two. Medium int occupies three bytes. Integer occupies four bytes and big int, big int the largest data type occupies eight integers. Now these are every data type are further classified into two types, signed and unsigned. And these signed are further classified into two types, uh, not really types, these are the ranges from and to. For example, the tiny integer data type ranges from minus 128 to plus 127, or if you assign it as unsigned, then it ranges from zero to 255. If you focus on this number, this is actually quite the double. It is actually the double of 127 plus 1, which means all the bytes occupied by these two ranges are covered in 255. So if you only want positive values with a greater range, it is wiser to use unsigned data type. However, if you need negative values, then we can use the signed integers. All right, so let's have a quick look on how these data types actually work. So I'm just gonna create a table. Let me just create, create table. I'm sorry, this is create table. Let me just call it test, test table. I'm gonna have uh, two variables. Let's just call the first one as tiny. It is of data type tiny int and let me make it sign and let me get another one i'm going to call it u tiny which is a acronym for unsigned tiny and it is it will be of type tiny and unsigned all right it should be comma and this is unsigned so here's our table let me just create this one scale it uh something is wrong all right i already created a table by the name test let me just call it uh test 2 and let me execute it and it got uh, executed all right the table is now created now i'm just gonna insert some values into the table insert into test 2 and let me just try to insert inside s tiny column all right s tiny and the values I'm going to pass. Now let's have a quick look at what range is allowed in the s tiny variable. S tiny is of type tiny int, and we see that tiny int has a range of negative 128 to 127 for signed type. Now in this case, it is of signed, which means it ranges from negative 127 to positive 128. So what happens if we uh, give it a value greater than 120? Seven. Let's just call it. Uh, how about two fifty? What if I want to insert two fifty? You see, at the bottom, I get an instant error. That's the out of range value for the column s tiny. 
which means this value is not accepted this is because it is out of the range 127 is the limit and I am trying to insert 250 inside of it so what can I do what if I try to insert the same value in u tiny uh, by the way it is utt so there is a spell error so I'm just gonna use that one what happens if I use to this one and I insert 250 inside utt which is of type type tiny int but unsigned now unsigned means unsigned means it has a wider range of 255 so 250 just should go just fine inside of it so just me run it and at the bottom you can see one was affected which means it worked perfectly so these two are guys basically the difference between signed and unsigned unsigned accepts a wider range with only positive values however as tiny accepts a smaller range with negative values it also means that i cannot pass any negative value to utt uh, why not try doing that i'm just going to copy paste here and instead of utt i'm trying to insert another row let's say with a negative value how about negative 100 i should get an error but let's try that and here you see an error out of range value of column utt this is because negative 100 is out of range it starts from zero so you can't pass that here all right there's zero so this is basically how tiny int and signed and unsigned parameters work along with it